When you find a Pearson's correlation coefficient that is neither too big or too small, something like 0.5, for example, that doesn't really mean the same thing for a small data set or for a large data set. As an extreme example, if your data set only has two points, you're always going to find a line of best fit that goes perfectly through both points. So you're going to find a Pearson's correlation coefficient of one, but I hope we can all agree that that doesn't mean anything because any two points that you have are going to form a straight line, even if you're just selecting two random points on variables that don't have any correlation. So in the video that is linked in the description, one of the things that I do is to explore in detail two examples, one with 20 points and one with 200 points, to see what happens in this kind of intermediate cases where the correlation is not very pronounced, but you still want to know if there is any correlation or if you're just seeing a non-zero Pearson's correlation coefficient due to random chance.